naivety, perhaps. Uh, look, I was not aware of that for a long time. Um, although now I do reflect that uh, on my pilot's course in Vietnam, in most things in the Navy, I was much younger than my contemporaries. Uh, that eventually came to bite me on the bum when I left the Navy after 21 years. The, uh, the superannuation system in the Navy for officers, or for all three services, for officers was based on a nominal age for retirement. And as a Lieutenant Commander, I was expected to retire when I turned 42, or expected to be 42 when I retired. But after 21 years in the Navy, I was only 36. So my retirement came six years before the nominal age for a Lieutenant Commander to retire. And consequently, the DFRBD system penalised me 18% of my pension. It was, they took off 3% a year below that nominal age. So my superannuation from the Navy uh, ended up being a lot less than other Navy per and Air Force personnel that had spent the same 21 years in the military, done the same things, but because I was only 36, <laughs> I had that, that penalty uh, and that probably started to highlight to me that, yeah, I was young. <laughs> oh, I, I, could, I could have. But look, at the end of 21 years, I had had a great career. Um, the instructing was a great part of it. I had, uh, in addition to my time at Five Squadron as a senior naval officer instructor there, uh, I had spent two years with the Singapore Air Force instructing Singaporean students very intensive flying there, they worked very hard. And, uh, and I felt I'd done a fair bit in that flying game. I'd also uh, branched off into driving ships. I had uh, um, gained a bridge watch keeping certificate, so I was qualified to drive Navy ships. Um, and I did, my last job in the Navy was second in command of one of our destroyers. The, and that, that was good. Um, in addition to the instructing, I'd been over in the Middle East, Middle East with the United Nations. Um, again, same Air Force people. One of the guys in, in the Middle East with me was a fellow who'd been on pilot's course with me, uh, spent the last six months of my time in Vietnam with me, his first six months over there. And there we were together in the, the Middle East. Uh, and so, you know, there's a great fraternity uh, and a great sense of doing good things. And by then I had uh, two, um, three, sorry, three children. <laughs> I had three children and, and were thinking about their future and uh, stability for them. And so I, uh, I opted to leave the military after 21 years. Uh, I didn't regret that and it worked out pretty well. What did you go on and do? Uh, surprisingly, my first uh, seven years after leaving the Navy was continue to flying. I, I flew the rescue helicopter uh, in its early years uh, based in Lismore. Built that helicopter service up from being a, a very much part-time uh, thing with a leased helicopter to uh, a full-time operation with four pilots and flying IFR and a twin-engine helicopter and our own base and again, so yeah, aviation continued for a while. So, so many ex-RAF guys uh, jumped onto rescue helicopters, didn't they? That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and after that time in um, in rescue helicopters, I I moved into a, a different field again. I did a theological degree and was ordained in the Anglican Church. And that you know, sounds an incredible shift. Um, I, I believe you can rationalise that they're, they're all helping roles. The, uh, the military role is a sort of helping uh, the nation, sort of protecting type role. Rescue helicoptering was a, a nurturing, guiding, 
looking after uh, lost bushwalkers and people injured in car accidents and then to go into a theological field where again you're dealing with people who are, are needing assistance in life so uh, it, easy steps for me to rationalise but I don't know how <laughs> will other people see that. So then so when, when you got your theological degree did you pastor a church or what? Yes I, I was the uh, Anglican rector uh, in Maxville south of Coffs Harbour for seven years and then I was the assistant in uh, a very big parish up here in Surface Paradise. So, mm. and, and, and then since my nominal retirement, uh, again, I do a, a fair bit of locum work in parishes. Right. So even in that role, you're still travelling around? <laughs> <laughs> Not so far from home. And, and, you know, I have been able to be there with uh, my kids and, and now my grandkids, which is 